sisters, hi YouTube. Hope your day has been fab. Today's video is going to be all about my best Amazon purchases. If you're following me on Instagram, you've probably heard me talk about Amazon a zillion times. And guess what? If you're a Prime member, which you really should be, they got me in college, guys. They got me in college with half off. And now I can't quit. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, if you are a Prime member, then you know the Prime Day is coming up. Now, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Chi Chi. I am the blogger behind SuppleChic.com and SuppleChic TV, where we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle from a curved perspective. So if you love hauls and try-ons and the occasional vlog and videos like this, then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. We would love to have you. If you're already subscribed, hey boo. So I'm gonna go by category. I literally, when I was putting things together for this video, I did not realize how much money I've given Jeff Bezos. Is this his name Jeff Bezos or is this Steve Bezos? Y'all let me know in the comments. First item I definitely say was one of my best purchases from Amazon is going to be this quilted crossbody bag. This is, this was a little bit over 100 I believe. I also have the larger size as well. Definitely prefer this size. This size is more practical for me. Um, and I also love the color because it's like a taupey color. So it kind of goes with my tans, but it also kind of goes with my like darker stuff as well. Absolutely love this. Love the leather quality on this. Love everything about this. If you know me, you know that having a Chanel jumbo flap is one of the things that I have on my bucket list and I will have before I die by God's grace. Um, it's such a classic bag. So I decided to like buy into it so I could, you know, see, you know, if I would wear it, if it was a good purchase for me. And just with my experience from this bag, I definitely say it's a great purchase for me. I also have learned something about myself that I'm really hard on my bags. I also learned from this bag that I'll definitely get the Chanel with the pebbled leather because the smooth leather, would not work with my lifestyle um but again this is a great purchase it's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds less than the real thing even if you were to get it the real thing second hand it's still hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds less great purchase for me let me just open it up for you guys I did not think I was gonna open this bag so if you see anything crazy forgive me um, when you open it up you can see it has a zipper up here um, it also has the little second flap that Chanel's have it has one of these pockets in here it has the main compartment which again is not pretty because I wasn't planning and showing the inside of my bag it fits a good amount of stuff it fits my big wallet if it's my little wallet Am I the only one who has two wallets? Comment down, comment down below. I have a wallet for the cards I don't want to use. And then I have a, car, a wallet for the cards that I use all the time. And then so if it's sunglasses, lipsticks, everything. So it's a good purchase. And it has another for the bag if you want to put your phone somewhere you can get to it really easily. What's stuck in here? A pen. Okay. So great purchase. The next really great purchase. Um, I purchased, this is my second Brixton hat. I bought both of them from Amazon. Because what I like about Amazon is that they kind of like, for things like this, they kind of compare prices for you. So you can get really great deals because a lot of different retailers kind of use them. Like 6PM uses them. Zappos uses them. So when I'm looking for something like this, this is like regularly somewhere between $50 and $60. I think I was able to get this for like $45 or something like that. Um, sometimes hard to find pieces that go on sale. Like Brixton hats, are like they never go on sale. Literally, I've been waiting for the Joanna straw hat to go on sale for like two years. If you have seen, if you're following me on Instagram, you've probably seen me wear this S necklace. Um, 
my mom's name starts with an S, my son's name starts with an, an S, my husband's name starts with an S, and the name of my brand starts with an S. So I got an S instead of a C for me. Um, but you see me wear this S necklace a lot. Um, this is definitely this was a dupe for a Celine necklace that was like I don't know three hundred or four hundred dollars or something like that. I got this on Amazon for less than fifteen bucks. So I would say that was a win and it is held up. When I first got it, I thought it was going to like tarnish in five days. I've had this for more than six months and it looks just like it looked when I bought it. So that's a win. It's going to be glasses. These heart glasses are also a dupe for, they're not Celine's. I'll put on the screen what they're a dupe for. But um, I also picked these up. I'm going to say that I've picked up about three, maybe four pairs of sunglasses from Amazon. The quality is always great. It's not like that flimsy sort of like sunglass that will just break in five seconds. It's not like designer quality, um, but it's quick, pretty close to Quay quality. If you have Quay sunglasses, this is pretty close. So... That's just to let you know, and I paid less than $10 for this Prime. They came to me in two days. Lord, my impatient soul loves Amazon. But anyways, great quality as well. First thing I picked up from Amazon was this dryer. Um, people always wonder why I don't really do hair videos. It's because I'm lazy. You know, I like to look good, but I want, when it comes to hair and like makeup, I like to do the least amount of work and get the most, how would I put it, and get the most out of it, okay? So I saw this, I watched Kia, so I watched her video and she was using this on her hair and it just blew my mind. I'm a natural and having something that will straighten and dry my hair at the same time is a win-win for me definitely um the only problem with this is that it does get hot the barrel gets hot but aside from that it's worked i think i've used it maybe like three or four times i don't wash my hair as often as i should um but that's another story for another day but so far it's been great um another good thing that amazon is great for is beauty chow if you love masks if you're into the whole K-beauty thing, then you will love them. Um, I picked up these Tony Molly masks. They sell them in packs on Amazon. They're a lot cheaper than if you were to go to like Ulta. Um, and then I also picked up this jade roller. You know, because I'd I be on my beauty kick. Okay, I saw this jade roller at like Nordstrom for like almost $50. There was like a pack. It was like close to $50 if I recall. So yeah, I was like what i'm not about to pay 50 dollars for this and of course i found it on amazon for like less than 20 so definitely a great place to check for beauty on the budget or on a budget why did i say that all right the next category of things would be definitely organization um one of the best things i purchased from amazon are the packing cubes if you travel a lot or if you have travel plans definitely invest in the packing cubes they just make like packing they make it make so much more sense they also make like organization when you get to your destination makes some more sense because like when you put everything in your box and you get there and you're looking for stuff and you're taking stuff out your whole entire suitcase just becomes like a complete mess it just becomes a complete mess but if you have the packing cubes then you already know where what is in what so it definitely is a godsend the next thing i want to talk about are going to be the, these organizers um for your jewelry these are clear they're acrylic organizers i have a ton of statement earrings i have a problem with statement earrings I buy them so much and I definitely don't wear them as much as I should and these kind of just help me place to organize them um, the only con with these are actually getting the earrings on sometimes that can be such a pain but for the most part these were a really great investment just so that I could 
see all of the jewelry that I had. I had somewhere to put all of my jewelry. I also purchased an acrylic drawer as well where I put my jewelry as well. So if you're looking for like some kind of way to organize your jewelry, definitely recommend this. The next item I picked up from Amazon would be this marble tray. Um, this is on my vanity in my room. I use it to organize my perfumes, the lotions I use every day, so on and so forth. This was, I was, I was not about to take everything off of this. So <laughs> I brought it here with everything on because I was not about to do that. But anyways, I picked up this vanity. It's not real marble. I think it's like a wood with like marble on, but it was a really great investment and it just like shakes up your vanity. And then the last um, category for me would go, would be the small appliances category. Two appliance, small appliances that I picked up from Amazon that have completely changed my life. The first one is Alexa. I'm not talking to you right now, Alexa. Go to sleep. Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> Did you hear her? Um, okay, I... I bought this because you know Alex was like mommy let's get it let's get it um I call him her I call her his little sister um but anyways she's just so useful for reminders for timers um for finding information about random stuff um and she's just become a part of our family oh my god and honestly she kind of freaks um, certain people in my family out like people who aren't used to having her around um but definitely one of my best purchases and right now she's like the one i have she's on sale for like only 30 dollars. definitely think she's worth it and then the second appliance that i don't know what my life would be without okay if you are african west indian asian I'm trying to think of even like like if you were from like of Spanish descent you would know what I'm talking about when I talk about this appliance and that's going to be my rice cooker yes y'all my rice cooker okay one thing West Africans eat a lot of is rice all right and I used to hate when I was growing up cooking rice because you literally have to watch it you have to make sure you put enough water you know some people believe you're supposed to wash it I don't wash my rice come for me come, come for me I don't wash my rice okay I understand why my parents washed rice in Nigeria because like you know the markets were open in the elements but anyways my point is this saves my life, honey, because I could just throw my rice in there and walk away, okay, and do everything else that I have to do, the hundred billions of other things on my to-do list, and I don't have to watch the rice and make sure it doesn't burn. If you fall into one of those categories of ethnicities that I talked about, I don't know if African Americans really eat rice like West Africans do, but if you fall in that category of rice eaters and you don't have a rice cooker, sis this is like i don't know 25 bucks maybe 30. do yourself the biggest favor ever and buy yourself a rice cooker and we're gonna come full circle we've talked all about all these other bits and bobs and we're gonna finish up with my favorite fashion finds from amazon so let's get so into when it. it comes to fashion finds i don't have a lot um i'm just starting to get the hang of Amazon fashion, like clothing wise, I feel like they could do a little bit better with how they categorize things um, and how they differentiate. Cause it's like, there's a side of Amazon clothing wise that's really, really high end and kind of expensive. And there's the other side that's really, really affordable slash cheap, but kind of also trashy um and i just wish they would create a middle area for people like me just wish i've talked about all my favorite things from amazon i would love and you know if i have these many amazon things you know that i have had to have had some mishaps so let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video on the things i bought from amazon the worst things i bought from amazon because i have a lot to share as well 
So the first brand I want to talk about that was is an absolute win, absolute win from Amazon Fashion is going to be the Daily Ritual brand, which I think is an Amazon brand. And if you are looking for high quality basics, comfy, soft basics, sis, I got you. Please check out the Daily Ritual brand. The first item I'm going to show you... I guess this is what you call like a sweat dress from them as well. This is perfect if you're going to take, be taking like a red eye right now if you're traveling a lot um, in the summer because this is like a sweat dress. So I wouldn't wear it like regularly on the regular day. But if you're traveling overnight, you will be super comfortable in this. It comes in their plus size range. They also have like a regular shirt dress, which I don't own, but based on all of my contact with their products i know it would be a dream they also have a romper which is in my cart it doesn't come in plus but i'm getting the largest size which is it's supposed to be 1820 um because like i said i have been beyond impressed by the quality of these basics the next item that i picked up that was a surprise you know how i said amazon has like the side that's really high end and then the side that's really trashy well <laughs> i shouldn't say that that's not nice um i found this one it was this leopard skirt for under 20 dollars. i think i paid like 15 bucks or something for it um leopard skirts are so in this was like when the whole leopard satin slip skirt was everywhere and i was dying because i couldn't find it in plus and then i ran across this one they still have this available it is not satin it's like a jersey material but it has like a fluted silhouette so it can be really flattering especially if you have my body type the print kind of de-emphasizes your tummy a little bit um if you're worried about that as well these are my favorites best finds from amazon let me know in the comments down below what are some of your best finds from amazon are you a prime member are we in the same club <laughs> i'm messing with y'all if you like this video share it with a friend um let me know are you going to be shopping on prime day are you ready? Um, and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you like my content, subscribe. Click that red button. And share. Until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,